Good morning, Mash the After Jog Thoughts. My name is Uyonela Mashalaba, aka the iceberg that never broke. Today, guys, we're going to be speaking about U Uncle Greasy. Ne? But again, I have to remind you, these are just my views. It has nothing to do with anything else. We can agree, we can disagree on this matter. We can comment below and start a discussion about our agreements or disagreements. But even again, before we get to that, I have to ask, why do you guys have to just claim everything? Like, we just won the World Cup and then two seconds, two, literally two seconds after we won the World Cup, you'd swear that all the players that were there were closer. Oh, faf. You'd swear that now, boy, they are now closer. Kutwa ngofa kungo, ufa to please kutwa ngofa kuko. I don't know. Kutwa kutwa limpondo, not even closer. Kutwa o o faf ngamampondo. And kutwa again, if you really analyze this now, boy, okay, they belong in the in, in the closer nation. Why ninja? Okay, guys. Um, let's get on with o Uncle Crazy the Tiger. What is wrong with Lotada? Why is he always, always in trouble? I mean, well, Uncle Greasy does not seem to be able to get himself out of trouble as well. Why is he always on hot water? If it's not sex, it's mining policies that are a problem. Um, he's just not seemingly winning, except in bed, of course, the tiger. He is winning there, apparently. But the issue here is that uh, oh, Uncle Greasy, a newspaper came out accusing oh, Uncle Greasy of having said in a phone call that he bribed two journalists of that particular newspaper not to publish a particular story that involved him and a slay queen with Uti Dombowen. And oh, Uncle Dwe uh, Greasy, Dweezy, <laughs> oh, Uncle Greasy, actually admitted, Uncle Gwede Mandash admitted apparently in a recorded phone call that he did bribe those people. Né? And then when Uncle Gweezy was then asked again about this particular statement of him having said that he had bribed particular journalists, he did not deny this fact that he did in fact um, bribe these particular journalists. He said he did not pay them. He did not say that he did not bribe them. He said he did not pay this particular journalist né? again which means oh, uncle greasy in an admission again did say that he did in fact bribe those people or he, he did admit to have lied about the bribery which for me is a problem né? that a public official of this particular stature who holds a particularly very important ministerial office of the minerals and resources of this particular country has agreed to having lied, have agreed to have in some sort bribed particular people or have lied about the bribery in itself. And for me, that is, again, the African National Congress is seeming to be complacent when it comes to dealing with issues of their own members, whether in matters of dishonesty, whether it's in matters of corruption or just complacency. You know, they themselves are complacent in that particular fort. Again, this is how we landed up with U Gwede, I mean with U, 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 U Jacob Zuma. This is how we as South Africans landed up with U Jacob Zuma, where we knew that U Jacob Zuma had strings of corruptions against him, but we still pretended that nothing was happening, that it was okay for everything to go on as, as, as business as usual. So what I am saying here is that if we continue with this particular denial pattern, we will again find ourselves with a bigger problem than the one that we are trying to ignore. Because ultimately, if we can't deal with these particular problems on the onset, history has shown us that they are guaranteed to come back. These type of problems are guaranteed to come back if we don't deal with them from the beginning. If our president does not call on Okwede Mandashe to go on leave so that a proper investigation can happen and that a proper determination can be made in terms of the factual circumstances of what has been unveiled by this particular media, media house. So 
I again I am calling on the president to make a decisive decision when it comes to U Uncle Gwe de Mandashe and him having lied about his bribery to this particular journalist. I think any self-respecting country would take these allegations seriously and they would want to see Ukwede Mandashe held accountable for what he said or what he did not say. He needs to be held accountable for those utterances or the utterances that he claims he did not make. You know, if he did not make them, then he must be held accountable in terms of showing or, 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 or the people that are accusing him of having said that they must provide the evidence and we must come to a conclusion in terms of Gwede Mandashe's fake because it can't be that something of this serious nature, someone who is in the helm of the mineral resources of this country, when we know, Uba, there are foreign com companies that are coming into our country that are bribing particular or are said to have been bribing particular ministers to get particularly particular uh, mining rights. So I think this issue is very serious and if mark my words if if, if ukwede mandashe gets away with this without a particular or, or an intensive investigation um to find out the factual uh story behind these particular stories ukwede mandashe is going to be a problem to this country at a particular point where again we're going to be called to band together because of a particular problem that we foresaw 10 years ago so I don't know what you South Africans think about this, but I think this is a particular serious issue. And if ANC is not taking this issue seriously, we as South Africans should take this issue seriously. The Democratic Alliance has already um, uh, opted that um, this particular issue should be investigated and I applaud the Democratic Alliance for this particular stance. We must follow up on this issue. There's no way that this TAPO issue, anywhere else in the world, this thing would have made news. Um, someone would probably be f facing an impeachment at this current particular juncture, but not in South Africa. And for me, I think that is un unacceptable. Uh, and I think it should be dealt with. Um, again, those are just my views for the week. And uh, it's a particular story that I thought was important that should be dealt with. My name again is Uyonela Mashalaba, a.k.a. the iceberg that never broke. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Do share your views below. I'll see you again, guys. Take care. This is your After Jog Thoughts. Sure.